Trends are made to end. The word end is literally in there. But with so many trends going on, what is noise and what should be our choice? Hi everyone, my name is Peter and today I'm going to go over 5 shoes that I have worn for years. They have endured the test of time, they have outlasted trends and they look good even in today's standards. So that means that they are cost effective and good for your wallet. Throughout the video, I will be going over comfort, durability and price of each shoe and at any point in which you are interested in any shoe, I've linked them down below in the description. First, we have Timberland's 6 inch album boots in black. These are by far my favourite pair of boots. They are versatile, comfortable and very durable. I've owned these for over 5 years now and I wear them regularly. I haven't even mentioned that these used to be my motorbike boots so you know that they have taken a legit beating. The reason why I prefer the Albans over the Timberland Originals is because there's less of that shiny leather around the collar of the boot. These boots always look great in jeans and they can be perfect for a casual night out. Or you can be cheeky and wear them on a hike and still look great. Unfortunately, it does seem that Timberland has decided not to produce these boots anymore but you can still grab a pair off Amazon for about £150. Definitely pick up these boots if you're looking for something smart, comfortable and long lasting. Next we have the beautiful Nike Air Max 90s in all white. These are my first ever all white shoes and I have loved them ever since I got them. Without exaggerating, these are probably the most comfortable trainers that have blessed my feet and for them to look this good is a criminal combination. They have a subtle and simple aesthetic because of the all white colorway which kind of hides the detailing but you can just make up that they're there. And that's what makes this shoe so interesting and one of the reasons why I love them so much. I've worn these shoes at least once every week for the last two to three years and it barely shows any wear and tear. But I have given them a deep clean once so that's why they look so white. And since it is an all white shoe it's extremely versatile since it goes well with other colorways. And despite it being classified as a streetwear trainer, I would argue that it can actually look smart too. Thank goodness that these are a staple by Nike because you can easily grab a pair for around £135 off their website. I started wearing these old school vans in black and white since around 2013 I believe once I saw one of my favourite artists wearing them. Shout out to all those GD fans out there. They're simple yet stylish at the same time and that's why I really love them. But because they're a very slim and compact shoe, they have been phased out by the chunky sneaker. But these shoes can pull off an aesthetic that chunky trainers cry to sleep about. I'll admit that I don't wear them as often as I used to because I used to wear them every day and now that my aesthetic has changed but I will always have a pair and when these need to go in the bin I'll definitely get a replacement. Since these are skating shoes they aren't as comfortable as trainers because of the minimal cushioning but they're not uncomfortable. But be careful though because these do have a breaking period around the heel so expect blisters if you're not wearing plasters. I actually had to replace my first pair of these vans because of the heel. I accidentally slapped them because I didn't put them on properly. That was entirely my fault though. There are new versions of the old school vans with improved comfort but they don't have the same aesthetic as the originals so I will always go for these. And you can easily grab a pair of these from the vans website for around £65 which is relatively cheap. Right so these aren't technically shoes, they're sandals but in the summer these are king for your toes. Only if you're brave enough to rock them. Ever since I started wearing the Arizona by Birkenstock I've never looked at any other sandal the same way. It's like I found my sandal for life. They are comfy, stylish and durable which is like the triforce of my tastes. Honestly I've seen people pull this off with jeans and a halfway button up t-shirt. I just don't have the aesthetics or the confidence to pull that off but they look great. So these sandals are made out of cork which molds around your foot as you wear them. So there is definitely a breaking period but once your foot has sunk in, they're like the Titanic Good luck finding a better sandal. And these sandals are made to last. I've been wearing my current ones for the last two summers and a holiday and my last one was for over four summers and two holidays. And yes, they do take a beating until the heel starts to crack but I think that's just because I wasn't wearing mine properly. For £65 you are getting a deal on this timeless sandal. You'll definitely thank me for this one. And finally the Chuck by Converse. I think I've owned over 10 variations of the Converse over the last decade but I'll always own a pair of the Simple Blacks. I'll say that my favourite is the Chuck 70 because of how durable it feels compared to the Chuck Taylor. Plus I like how the sole of the 70 isn't bright white. It's like a bone colour. Arguably you can say that these are just an alternative to the old school Vans. But in my opinion, you can't dress up those shoes as easily as these. The Chuck High is just so sleek despite being a skate shoe that it can actually enhance a smart casual outfit. And like all high tops, it is a pain to put on in the first place, 
but once you've done it a few times, you'll just get used to it. And despite it being a canvas shoe, I have experienced breaking periods. Also, since these are a skate shoe, there is minimal cushioning, so like the Vans, they aren't super comfortable, but they're not super uncomfortable either. I've never broken a pair of Converse's or thrown a pair away despite owning over 10 pairs in the last decade. I've either sold them on or gifted them to someone else to wear. This means that they're not only durable, but pretty cost effective, right? So the Chuck 70 has been trending, which has inflated the price. So to grab a pair, it's around 85 pounds. It is a bit expensive for a skate shoe, but no one really wears it for skating. And for the durability and quality of the shoe, I think 85 pound is pretty worth it. So these are five shoes that are part of my collection that I have worn regularly, and they have definitely endured the test of time. And that is why I recommend them. They are simple and versatile, which are elements that trending clothes just don't have. Have you owned any of these shoes and do you agree with me? Is there any other shoe that you would say is timeless or essential? Let me know. I hope that I've been able to inspire and convince you to stay away from trending shoes that cost a fortune and which you'll regret a few months down the line. Try and buy shoes that fit the essentials of your wardrobe rather than trying to fit a trend because over the long run these shoes will help you pull off the aesthetic that you want better than a pair of trendy trainers that you saw someone wear on TikTok which could disrupt your wardrobe and definitely your bank account. If you found this video helpful please leave it a like because it does help the channel to grow and thank you so much for the support you've given me in my last fashion video. I never thought that it would do so well. I'll continue to improve and provide good helpful content for you guys. And since you absolutely smashed my 100 and 200 sub goal, I'm going to be a bit optimistic and try aim for 500 subs by July. So please subscribe to the channel if you want more of this sort of content and it will definitely help me get to my goal. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.